Okay, so gene therapy can very broadly be defined as the delivery of therapeutic genetic material to cells of a patient for therapeutic benefit. So the idea is that if you have a defective gene, uh, which in the case of anemone pic C is the MPC1 gene, you deliver a healthy functional version of that gene to uh, the cells of a patient. Um, how do you do that? Well, it's actually quite difficult to get pieces of DNA into cells. And the reason for that is because your cells are specifically designed to prevent genetic material from entering into the cell and corrupting the cell's own genetic material. So it's built up lots and lots of different mechanisms to be able to protect it from that. So to get over those boundaries, what we use are viruses. Now, that might sound slightly intimidating in the first instance, but actually it's not that bad. So what we do is take viruses' abilities to effectively get into, into cells. So they've had millions and millions of years to evolve mechanisms which allow them to enter your cell, hijack the cellular machinery and produce more viruses. It's the, it's, it's the reason why we keep getting uh, flus and coughs and colds every year. They're very, very clever. So what we do is that we make the, viral, the virus safe. So we take out all the nasty bits and replace all the nasty bits with the therapeutic gene of interest, which in this case is, is MPC1. What you can then do is, is that you can inject those viral vectors into, for example, the brain of MPC1 patients. And that virus will then enter into the cells of the brain, deliver the therapeutic gene of interest where it's supposed to be. And then that gene, that therapeutic gene, can then express full length functional protein, which will replace the defective form of, of the protein, which causes the, the disease in, in pig type C. So this is a technology which is now really in its ascendancy. It hasn't always um, had a happy path. It's been very much up and down. But what we're seeing at the moment is a real rise um, in, the, in the interest and the efficacy of gene therapy um, in recent years. And this has been shown in a number of successful clinical trials around the world, in Europe, in the States, for example, where gene therapy is having a life-changing and life-saving um, effect in patients. Um, so where we are at the moment is that we are developing um, gene therapy for Neiman Pick type C. Um, this has been done in collaboration with our um, collaborators at the University of Oxford and Fram Platz Lab. We've been working on viral vectors for delivery of genes to the brain for, for a number of years now. Um, and where we are is that we've made a vector that can express the MPC1 protein. And we've conducted low-dose studies in a mouse model in the Platz Lab. Uh, and the mouse model is a really good model of MPC because it shows all the um, biochemical abnormalities associated to Neiman pig C, it shows the behavioral abnormalities associated to Neiman pig C, and it shows the um, premature death that you have in MPC, uh, in addition to an accurate uh, neuropathological um, mimicry of what happens in the patients. So what we've done is we've delivered low-dose gene therapy to the brains of um, that mouse model and we've been able to show an extension in lifespan. Um, not only that, we're able to show that you can normalize a number of different uh, indices of, of behavior following therapy and you're also able to either ameliorate or normalize um, the amount of neurodegeneration, so the, the amount of cell death that occurs in the brain because of because of, of the disease. So we're now gearing up um, to doing a much higher dose study to see if we can even enhance upon that and really try and protect the brains of, of um, these mice and see if we can either normalize or ameliorate the symptoms um, associated to um, the disease phenotype in that mouse model.